Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So whenever you try to install Minecraft launcher or Minecraft game from Microsoft Store and if the game is stuck, uh, download is stuck on queued or if it is stuck on checking dependencies, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the, I'm not facing this problem, but if you're facing this problem, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to run gaming services repair tool. Now for this, you can type in gaming services repair tool uh, in Google search and then you can go to gaming services repair tool for PC, Xbox support. This is a Microsoft website. Go to the official website and then click on downloadable version over here. Scroll down here. You can see download the gaming services repair tool for PC and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow and let the repair complete. This process will take some time and once this is done, uh, you will see completed successfully over here like this. Once this is done, now you can try to install. You have to relaunch Xbox, uh, sorry, Microsoft Store. Relaunch Microsoft Store and then try to install. If that does not work, uh, the next step is to, if trying, if you are trying to install uh, Minecraft game or Minecraft launcher from store, you can use Xbox app. If it is not working on store, you can in you can launch Xbox app. Xbox app is pre-installed in your computer, so you can launch it and you can type in Minecraft launcher over here or Minecraft game and you can try to install it from Xbox app and then check. Still not working. The next step is to log in with same account store and with same account on Xbox app. So at the top right here, you can see profile icon, click on it, click on sign out and then click on sign in and then you can select the account, the right account and then you have to enter your pin or password over here and once logged in, go to Xbox app and then you can click on sign out over here and then sign in. Select the same account which you have selected in Microsoft Store. You have to log in with same account on store and with same account on Xbox app and then you can check. Still not working. Make sure date, time, time, to time zone and region is correct in your computer. So at the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time, click on adjust date and time and make sure set time automatically, set time zone automatically. If this is off, turn it on. Set time automatically. If this is off, turn it on and then click on sync now. Sync now is important over here. Click on sync now. If you receive any error, just click on sync now multiple times. Once the sync is done, go to time and language, language and region and make sure your country is selected over here and then try to relaunch store or Xbox app and then install. Next step is to run WS reset command. So type in WS reset in Windows search box, then click on WS reset. This will relaunch store and then you can check. Still not working. Download it from Minecraft website. So you can go to this link. The link is provided in the video description. And here you can see download for Windows option. And you can run this exe file and you can install it using this exe file. You can install it from the website and then check. If not working, uh, you can scroll down on the same page. You can use the legacy. Here you can see uh, legacy version. So you, this is Windows 10, Windows 11. This is Windows legacy. So you can try to install the legacy version and you can run this file and you can follow the on-screen instruction and then you can install uh, Minecraft launcher using this exe file, using that file. And that should help you to install it. Still not working. You can run this PowerShell command. So copy this command. The command is provided in the video description. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then make sure that you run PowerShell as an administrator and then click on yes to allow. And then paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time and this will install the Windows default apps. And during this process, if you see any errors in red color, uh, like this, then you can ignore it. Let the process complete. Once it is complete, you will see everything red. Everything will be red in color. Once that is complete, you can relaunch Xbox app and store and then you can try to install it. Still not working. Delete Microsoft Store local cache folder. Now for this, you can go to File Explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, users folder, your username folder app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items open app data folder open the local folder open the packages folder and scroll down find microsoft windows store folder so we can see microsoft windows store underscore some alphanumeric character open this folder 
Here you can see local cache folder, make a right click, delete it, relaunch store or Xbox app and then check. Still not working, repair or reset store or Xbox app. So type in Microsoft Store in Windows search box, make a right click, go to app settings. First of all, click on terminate over here and then click on repair. And once the repair is done, now you can check. If the repair does not work, in that case, you can even perform reset. So first of all, repair complete, check it. If not working, click on reset, reset. And after the reset, you can open Microsoft Store and then check. You can do the same thing with Xbox app and you can use Xbox app to install. Now for this, make a right click on Xbox app, app settings. Again, on the same page, scroll down. On this page, scroll down and then you will see terminate. Terminate and then click on repair. And once the repair is done, now you can launch Xbox app and then you can try to install Minecraft. Still not working. In that case, do the same thing. You can perform reset. So click on reset, reset. And once the reset is complete, you can launch Xbox app and then try to install. Next step is to update store or Xbox app from the store library. Now for this, you can type in store in Windows search box, open Microsoft store, go to downloads option. And then at the top right, you will see check for update option and you will see update all. So you can update everything. Just click on update all. And once everything is updated, now you can check. Still not working. Install Xbox identity provider. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. The link is provided in the video description. Click on download and then open Microsoft Store. If not install, you will see install button. Maybe get option or maybe update option. You can do that. In my case, it is already installed. Next step is to uninstall and reinstall gaming services. So copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then make sure that you run PowerShell as an administrator only. Click on yes to allow. Paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. This will uninstall gaming services from your computer. Once done, copy the second command and paste it on the same window. Hit the enter key. This will open Microsoft Store. Click on get option or you will see install option. Hit install. Click on yes to allow and let the download complete. Once the download is 100% complete, then you can try to install, you can relaunch, you can try to install Minecraft and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to start these services. Now for this, you can type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find IP helper in the list, make a double click on IP helper, set this to automatic, click on apply. Click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Find Xbox services at the very bottom. You will see four Xbox services. Make a double click on each one of them one by one. Set the startup type to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Again, set it to automatic. Apply, start if highlighted, then click on OK. Automatic, apply, start. OK. Do the same thing over here. Start if highlighted, then click on OK. Find Windows Update, make a double click on Windows Update, set this to automatic. Click on Apply, click on Start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now find Microsoft Store Install Service, make a double click, set this to automatic. Click on Apply, click on Start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now find Gaming Services, make sure Gaming Services are running. If not running, make a right click, click on Start if highlighted, or you can click on Restart. Again, make a right click on gaming services, second gaming services, click on start if highlighted or click on restart. Now you can check, still not working. The next step is to update Windows to the latest version. Now for this, you can open Windows settings, go to Windows update or update in security and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to uninstall and reinstall Xbox app or store. So to uninstall store, you can copy the first command, type in PowerShell in Windows search box, make a right click on Windows PowerShell, make sure that you run this as an administrator only, and then click on yes to allow, paste the command over here, hit the enter key. This will uninstall store from your computer, store will be gone. It's gone. Now you can copy this, copy this command, paste it on the same window, hit the enter key. And this will reinstall Microsoft Store on your computer and then you can check. 
still not working run inet cpl dot cpl command so type in inet cpl dot cpl in windows search box click on inet cpl dot cpl and then go to advanced tab scroll down make sure use tls 1.0 use tls 1.1 1.2 1.3 1 all four are checked over here and then hit apply apply is important and then click on ok restart store or xbox app and then check next step is to run these commands so type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app make sure that you run this as an administrator only click on yes to allow copy the first command paste it over here hit the enter key now run the second command paste it hit the enter key run the third command paste it hit the enter key now you can relaunch store or xbox app and then check the last step is to update windows to the latest version using media creation tool now for this you can use this link the link is provided in the video description this will take you to microsoft website here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file when you run the exe file you will see accept option click on accept over here by default windows 11 will be selected click on next you can select iso file over here and then click on next you can save it to desktop save and then let the download complete this process will take some time once done click on finish and let this close automatically this will take few seconds or maybe a minute to close then go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow click on next click on accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app will be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install and once the installation is done restart your computer and then try to install minecraft launcher or minecraft game from microsoft store or xbox app or you can even install try to install it from the minecraft website the link which i provided in the video description so you can try this you can use you can even try to install it from the website so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install minecraft launcher or minecraft games successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel